Hi guys, uh, we talk about this model, how to unfold this kind of surface. So uh, this is actually the model here uh, that from one client here. So and then he want to verify how to unfold this kind of surface. So uh, for this kind of model here, you cannot unfold them directly because there there's a sharp join here, you know, among the surface you see here, and. Uh, we cannot unfold this surface directly. So normally, if there's a smooth join here like this one, like this uh, surface on the side of it, and then if you uh, explode the surface, and this top is flat, and then we can unfold them one by one, and then you should be able to get the exact contour here. And but for this kind of surface, you still can unfold it, but you have to do something. So. In order to unfold this surface here, you see here, this is actually the sharp join here. So, and you have to uh, basically slice the model here and create the contour curve. And then, once you create the contour curve, then you can join the contour curve and to create a single contour curve. Let me see. Uh, let me show you here how to create the contour curve. This is actually what I have created here for we switch off this layer. So you see here we have created this contour curve to represent the the original model. And you have this contour curve depends on how accuracy you want here. You can just create high density of the contour curves. It's up to you. And then you you should join the contour curve and make a composite curve, like join here, and then you should be able to join this curve here. And yes. And then after join this curve here, this is single curve, but this is one full curve here. You need to rebuild the curve, rebuild the curve here to create a single spline here. So and then you have you have a single spline curve here. Otherwise, it will be a composite curve. We cannot handle it. Uh, it will not work here. So this is actually a single spline. You repeat the same procedure for all of them. And then once you have you have uh, created all this contour curve, then you loft a surface here. So you can loft a surface. What I have done here, you see here, this is what I've done here. We loft a surface with this contour curve. So, and then we turn off this contour curve here, and this is actually the original model, and this is actually the green one is the surface that I have lofted. So, <coughs> this is actually, then we can, you see here, this is actually can represent the, the, the original model, top or bottom surface. I have chosen the top surface, but you can, you know, uh, choose bottom surface, and that should be okay, uh, same thing. So, and then once you have this surface here, just one minute here, I turn off this one here, then come this one. And then once you have this surface, and then you can unfold this surface here to represent the original model. So just unfold the surface, and then click here. And then you see here, this is actually the the contour that you have got, uh, you have unfolded here. So you see here, this is actually the green one here, is the one that you have unfolded. So it's, uh, the green color is not that great, but you can still see it here. So this is actually the, the way that to handle the uh, discontinuous surface here, and use then the uh, continuous surface to reapproximate the discontinuous sur surface you want to unfold and then to unfold the original contour. It works perfectly. So for these kind of things here, it should be okay. No problem at all. Good. Thank you. Bye.